what is up readers welcome to another video today we're going to talk about the last book in a series by Peter Lorangis and that is The Legends of the Rift by Peter Lorangis I really thought that this book would extend until 2018 because since it is seven wonders I really thought that it would be seven books but I was surprised when I knew that the fifth book this one would be the last book in the series so this means that this book would contain Three Loki books. So this book follows Jack and his friends in getting the last of the Loki lie and rescuing Ali from King Ulaar. If you have not read this book or this series, stop this video right now and read it. If you have read it, then let's proceed to the book talk. Number one. So finally we found out the last remaining Loki which are the Loki of language, teleportation, and underwater breathing. Number two. In this book, we also find out the Seesaw, which is the Society for the Earthly Edification of the Seven Ancient Wonders. I had to read it from my note because it was very, very long. It's interesting to know about this group, which are a bunch of nerds about the Seven Wonders of the Ancient World. Number three, Eloise is also a select and I was shocked when I read that scene. Number four, the time where they went inside the rift was the climax part of the story for me, where they met the Masarim, they also met King Laar, and they also met Kalani, they were all reunited in that scene and of course it turned out pretty well. They destroyed all the Loculus and they all destroyed it in order to save themselves. Number five. So when they all destroyed the Loculus, nagulat ako nung meron pang lambda si Jack and di ko rin inexpect yung ending na ganun kasi nagkaroon sila ng alternate world. Karai and Masarim didn't exist in that world. And then Tarkin was a ticket seller while Professor Begad was alive. That's such a cool ending. When they destroyed all the Loculus, they had an alternate reality in a good way. So I think that concludes my book talk on Seven Wonders The Legend of the Rift. I know it seemed a bit short but I really enjoyed reading this book that I took some notes but not enough to explain what I've felt throughout this book. I will miss reading Seven Wonders books because it educated me in a good way with all the illustrations like this one and with all of the fast-paced chapters. It was definitely a good ride, you know, a great adventure with Peter Lorangis and Jack and his friends throughout the whole world. Now let's proceed to the discussion of the three novellas in relation to the Seven Wonders series. Let's start with this one, which is The Select and the Orphan. So The Select refers to Herman and Bert Wenders. I was left at a cliffhanger while reading The Select and I really wanted more about this story. On the other hand, The Orphan is about Daria who wanted to get a pomegranate for her friend Frada who is in the brink of death. And I really admired her in this book or should I say pamphlet because she really did so many things just to treat her friend. Now let's proceed to the key. So this is about Alia Bartavian or commonly known as number one and this is told in the form of a diary like a logbook or should I say you know journal or a diary and it really felt like a diary to me and I love the fact that this is about her background story. I appreciate ko to nung binasa ko to kasi Ito na naman kung paano siya pumasok sa story ng Seven Wonders. Lastly is The Promise. And it is about Kare and Masterim. And so far, this is my favorite out of the three. There are two things that I would like to discuss in this pamphlet. The first one being that Kare liked a girl and that girl was named Arashti Aya. And I loved reading about that because it told me the different side of Kare, you know, the soft side. And he also had a love life. The second one is that Kara and Masterim got to test and demonstrate all of the Loculus in front of many people and it just reminded me of a circus and that was very, very cool. So this pamphlet told me that Kara and Masterim fought over the Loculi because Masterim was very, very obsessed with these Loculi while on the other hand, Kara wants these Loculus to be protected and not to be, you know, used in a bad way. That's all my time guys. Click the subscribe button and the notification bell to get updates on when I post new videos. I post videos on Mondays and Fridays and I'll see you in the next video. As always, keep reading.